Hey everybody, happy Sunday, and thanks for stopping by the Cigar Vixen channel. Today I'm gonna to be debuting a lineup that's predominantly from IPCPR's trade show. Of course, because I just came back with lots of goodies. Um, there is one that was not part of the trade show that's been on the lineup before, just for the sake of keeping it easy for you guys to find these cigars, as most of them should be out and available already at your local brick and mortars. However, there may be one or two that you'll have to look for in a week or two weeks, something like that. But at least so you could start ramping up for what you should have on your smoking lineup. So starting with number five this week, we have the Buffalo 10, which is a great cigar, especially for the price point. Um, wonderful taste profile. It's made by El Artista out in the beautiful Dominican Republic. This was meant with the intention of having good quality tobacco, with, again, at a very reasonable value price. So the Buffalo 10, taking a closer look at it, is featuring a Mexican San Andres wrapper, Dominican Negrito binder, and U.S. Colombian and Dominican on the filler, coming in right at the $5 price point. So again, quite the steel, wonderful flavor profiles. You're getting some of the sweet cocos. You're getting a little bit of the coffee, nice leather profile. So again, very nice taste, slightly box pressed, and um, again, just quite the steel. So definitely keep that in the lineup, Buffalo 10. Moving right along to number four this week, we have the Casa Cuevas Reserva. So this is coming straight out of the Dominican Republic. I learned a lot about this company while I was at the trade show. I have seen their brand before. However, um, I just thought they were a new brand. They've actually been around for quite some time, mostly known for making cigars for other people in the industry. And then more recently, they've gotten into introducing their own uh, line and their own brand. So really nice. In fact, the uh, Cuevas Reserva, is adorned with five stars on their box and on the band and that fifth star is representing the newer generation i had a chance of meeting father and son at the show and it was really cool to see again coming from a big family myself i love to see you know when people are just passing things along generation per generation and that's what's going on with this particular brand so really nice story really nice family behind the brand and again taking a closer look at the reserva as i mentioned it's coming out of the beautiful dominican republic and it's featuring also a mexican san andres wrapper so very flavorful dominican piloto cubano on the binder and then dominican and nicaraguan on the fillers so this one you're getting similar kinds of notes in fact um, I did it again this week without even realizing I picked somewhat similar cigars as far as their profiles this one has a little bit more of the black pepper spice but you do pick up some underlying cocos you pick up a little bit a hint of some nuttiness you know slight coffee notes but you definitely are gonna get the nice uh, spice profile to it so it's really nice Moving on to number three this week, we have, uh, this is the one that's not from IPCPR. I have done some different things with the founder line. I was of course there in Michigan for their launching. And again, just wanted to bring attention to the founder, first edition Maduro, great cigar, perfect for many times of the day, but especially if you're a rum drinker, this is a great pairing for your nice, neat glass of rum in the evening. Um, you could also do this with coffee as I'm a big fan. I pretty much believe coffee goes with every cigar for the most part. But the Maduro, um, again, on the first edition collection of the founder, um, really, really nice stick available in multiple Vitola. So there's lots of different sizes for anybody depending on you know what your preference is. These can be found through the Wild Bills tobacco chain, um, quite a few of them in Michigan and the greater area. And this one is a nice Costa Rican Maduro wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Honduran on the filler. You get the dark roasted coffee beans, the charred oaks, the pecan, a little bit of the dark chocolates. As I mentioned, it goes very well with a nice glass of rum. So this is uh, number three this week. Moving down the lineup to number two, this is a new one coming out of Rocky Patel's booth. So. His booth every year is always a lot of fun, lots of music. In fact, this year he had a singer that was there that had an amazing, amazing voice. But every year he has some sort of, you know, musician or something going along with the music theme, as well as ice cold beer on tap. And just it's a very welcoming booth to visit during IPCPR. So I did swing in there a couple times throughout the, um, the trade show itself. But this one is the LB1, so it's a beautiful box and band that it does come in. 
And this one is the original factory code is what it says, hand rolled. And I believe this one's out of his factory in um, Nicaragua and it's also featuring tobacco that he grows on his farm. So this one is featuring a nice Habano wrapper from Ecuador and then it's mostly Nicaraguan from what Rocky told me on the uh, binder and filler, I believe. A nice medium to full body, you get the spicy peppers, the caramels, a little bit of coffee, a nice rich leather profile. So again, I mentioned um, all of these cigars this week are kind of um, not even on purpose, but I tend to just grab stuff that I am in the mood for and that seems to be the trend for this week. So bringing me to number one is a very special cigar. This is by Protocol. Now, you probably wouldn't recognize it by their band because it's totally different than their traditional bands that they have out there with the little Protocol P on most of them. This is still made out in the La Zona factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. Beautiful tribute to, let me make sure I don't mess this up, Sir Robert Peel, who is said to be the father of modern day, um, I believe all law enforcement or just police, one of the two, I'm going to go ahead and just say law enforcement. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a whole history behind it. And they really did a great job of not just decorating the band to just look very elegant, very regal, but the box itself is kind of like a, almost like a treasure hunt. So it's a lot of fun. If you get a chance to see the box, hopefully you get to pick up a box. Um, the, the whole presentation, the picture on the inside of the box has a lot of little tributes to a lot of different things. I would urge you guys to visit the protocol, you know, website, um, their Instagram. They have a lot of fun little promos going on right now for kind of like a, you know, who could recognize what's in the pictures and what it stands for. There's a whole lot of things in there, but it was a lot of fun to visit with them during the show, get a chance to talk to Juan and go over, you know, the different, um, blends and all that stuff. So this one is available in a Connecticut as well as a Maduro. I'm smoking the Maduro today. Fantastic flavors on this. A little bit of a nuttiness, a uh, little bit of a dried cherry. You pick up the coffee notes. It's going very well with my coffee. In fact, um, I could also see putting this, you know, at night with a nice whiskey, even a bourbon, um, just really, really nice profile overall, but taking a little bit of a closer look at this one, it has that nice Pennsylvania broadleaf wrapper and the Nicaraguan binder and filler. But again, just a beautiful cigar, very elegant, something completely different than their regular lineup. But again, I'm a huge fan of protocol cigars. They make, you know, some really nice sticks. So definitely one that you want to get your hands on and try, and you should be able to find these. I believe they're already at the local brick and mortar, so definitely get your hands on them. And I'd love to hear the feedback from all of you. Make sure you come visit me on my Instagram at Cigar Vixen. I'll be doing some giveaways this week for the founder line. I have um, a couple different packets that I'll be giving away. So make sure you visit me on my Instagram at Cigar Vixen. And again, thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you have a great Sunday. Cheers.